Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about refraction on spherical surface. Now in 7.1 we have learned about reflection on a spherical surface. So we want to see what's different between reflection and refraction. So reflection is a light that cannot pass through a medium and then it bounces back. But for refraction, the light can pass through but then after it passes through, it starts to bend away or starts to bend closer to the normal. Now the equation that we're going to use is n1 over u plus n2 over v equals to n1, sorry, n2 minus n1 over r. Now for this equation to be used, you have to determine first, number one, which one is the n1 and which one is the n2. And number two, you also have to determine whether the sign of the r is positive or negative, right? So, which is N1 and which is N2? We need to know. But before that, what is refract N? N is actually a refractive index. And for example, air is 1.0, and then we have water is 1.33, we have glass, refractive index of glass is 1.5, and refractive index of oil is 1.47. Right here, let's imagine we have a glass globe, right? The glass globe has a refractive index of um, 1.5 and then it is surrounded by air. So the refractive index of air is 1.0. So what do we do? So let's see if the light rays is coming from the air to the glass globe. As, as it hits, it starts to bend closer to the normal line. So we can see that the light rays is coming from the air into the glass. It means that now the, the air becomes the N1 and the glass becomes the N2 for this particular surface. Next, if we go further to this particular surface, now the light rays continues to hit the another side of the surface of the glass globe. So this time, the, the air starts to bend away to uh, from the normal line and back into the air. Now for this particular um, surface, this particular surface, you can see that it coming, it is coming from the glass to the air. So this time, our glass becomes the N1 and the air becomes the N2. Okay, so how to do equation for the first surface? And for the first surface, you should get 1 over u plus 1.5 over v equals to 1.5 minus 1.0 over r, like that. And for the second surface like this, so your equation should be 1.5 over u plus 1.0 over v equals to 1.0 minus 1.5 over r. And the next step, in order for you to be able to use this equation, you also have to determine what is the sign for the R. Right, now let's say we have this particular uh, spherical surface. It doesn't matter where the glass, for example, the glass is on this side. It doesn't matter if the glass is on that side. This already been determined in the the first one, which is which one is the N1 and which one is the N2. Now this one doesn't matter anymore. The one that matters is the shape of the um, spherical surface. Now, your principle that you're going to use is superbonicic. Uh, like that. Okay. So how it, how does it work? Right, let's see. We have the first light rays coming from this side, coming from this side. Okay. You can see it is hitting on the protruding side of the spherical surface. So we can see that as the light ray is hitting on this protruding side, then your R should be positive. Like I said, suka boncet. It is protruding on the boncet side of the surface. Now, imagine we have the same surface, but this time the light ray is coming from that side. Okay, so it is coming from that side. We can see that the light ray is hitting on the kurus side. Okay. As it hits on the chorus side, it means that our R becomes negative, like that. Okay? So be very careful on the surface that this uh, light ray is hitting. Even though we are using the same surface, 
but the direction the origin of the light rays is really important for you to determine the value of r but what about the plane surface like for example like this one so for this kind of uh, surface it doesn't matter where the light is coming from whether it's from this side or it is from that side they are the same so for this case the r should always be infinity and now let's take a look at this question. Dia kata, figure 7.2 shows a spherical surface of radius of curvature 5 cm. So we're going to write here R equals to, but we don't know whether it is positive or negative, 5 cm in a medium 1 with a refractive index of N1. Determine the distance of the image form when a point object is placed in a medium at N1. So yang ni kita dah senang, we don't have to do anything, we don't have to determine whether which one is N1, which one is N2. It's already given for us so that the air is the N1 and the glass is N2. So N1 is 1.0, N2 is 1.52. Now the U given is 5 centimeters. Sorry, this is the U um, number a and then this is the second u which is b okay let's take a look at this one and let's do this we because the light ray is coming from n1 obviously we can see that the surface is bone shape so in other words our r is not negative but it is positive like this so let's construct our equation so the n1 is 1 over the u is 5 plus the n2 is 1.52 over uh, the V, the one that we're looking for, equals to 1.52 minus 1 over positive 5. And for that, you should get the answer is negative 15.83. Now, this image is virtual image. Okay, so what does this virtual image mean? Any image that is formed virtually, it means that the image is on the same side as the object. It is formed on the same side as the object. Now, let's try question number B. It is 1 over 50 because refractive index of the air is 1. And then the N2 is 1.52. So, sorry, plus 1.52 over V. We're looking for that. Okay, 1.52 minus 1 over the same, which is still bone shape lagi. There's no change of uh, light rays. Uh, cuma yang berbeza ialah kita punya R, um, kedudukan U. So, this is still positive 5 and your V should be 3.04 centimeters. Okay, so we got positive 3.04 centimeters. So, this is a real image because it is positive but what does real image means real image means that this image is formed on the opposite side from the object next we have this question a glass here of refractive index 1.5 and of radius of curvature is 20 centimeters the sunlight incident on the front surface is brought to a focus behind the hind surface of the sphere so find the position of the hind surface where the sunlight is brought to focus now for this kind of question, we have to consider both surface because the light rays obviously pass through both uh, the glass from the glass to the to, to back to the to the air behind it. So because the sunlight is actually very far, we're going to consider U as infinity. So as the light rays hits the surface, the curvature, then it hits like that. Okay. And you can see here that this is bone shape. So it means that our R, our R is, I'm going to put it here as R1 because the, we are dealing on the first surface. And then after this, we're going to deal with the second surface, which is the hind surface. And this one later, I'm going to call it as R2, okay? So R1 is positive 20 centimeters. And because our U is infinity, let's construct the equation. You can see that this one becomes the N1, which is the air, and the glass becomes the N2. So, I'm going to write 1 over infinity plus 1 over V. No, sorry, bukan 1 over V. It is N2. N2 is 1.5. Is it 1.5? Yes. Equals to 1.5 minus 1 over positive 20 centimeters. 
So the V is 60 centimeters. And it is formed on the opposite side of the object. Now we want to see what happened on the second surface. So you see here, on the second surface, the R is supposed to be negative. Why did I say that? Sekarang ni dia sudah jadi kurus. So in other words, our R2 equals to negative 20 centimeters. And when we construct our equation, it becomes 1.5 over uh, u is now this is where the problem comes now you see that the 60 centimeters is formed on the opposite side of the object because the object is on this side basically from this side it means that the object is formed here why do i know it is here because the read is given is 20 centimeters and the diameter in other words it is 40 centimeters let me erase this one first because the the object, sorry, the image form is 60 centimeters, it means that this image form is beyond the diameter of the glass. So we have extra 20 centimeters to make up to the 60 centimeters of the V1. Okay, so in other words, our U2 our U2 is this one. This is our U2, which is 20 centimeters. And for that, 1.5 over 20 centimeters. But remember this, this is supposed to be negative. Why do I say that? Because now, this, the first one, this is actually the, let's say this is the sun, okay? The sun is actually the V the V for the first surface, which is the front surface over here, which is the 60 centimeters. Okay, but now it becomes the object, okay, it becomes the object for the second surface, which is this one, okay. But the problem arises, the light rays supposed to come from the glass, but the the image or the object of the second surface, you know what I mean? Carry, uh, follow me, okay? So, the object of the second surface, which is the image of the first surface, now becomes the object, yeah? Now, the object is formed on the opposite side of the where the light ray is coming from. So, that's why our U now becomes negative, okay? Because it is formed on the opposite side of where the light ray is coming from. Okay, so for that, we're going to continue plus 1.0 over we were looking for that. Sorry, minus 1.5 equals to, now the R, because this is a kurus part. Okay, this is a kurus part. So our R now becomes negative, negative 20. So our V is supposed to be 10 centimeters. Let's continue with question B. Now it says here, if a small light bulb is placed 10 centimeters in front of from, from the front surface of the sphere, we are dealing with the same sphere here, where will the final image be formed? Again, we're going to do two, two surfaces, the front surface and the hind surface. Okay. So we have the glass here again, but this time we put a pop in front of the front, front surface, which is 10 centimeters. What do we do? We can obviously see the light rays coming from the bulb. So it is hitting on the bone shape surface. So it means that our R1 here, the R1 is positive 20 centimeters. The N1 should be the air. Um, the U is 10 plus the glass will be the, set, the N2, 1.5 over V, 1.5 minus 1 over positive 20. So our V is negative 20 centimeters. This one, it shows that the image is formed on the same side as the object. So because it is 20 centimeters, it means that this image is actually formed over here. 
like that. So we got 20 centimeters. We are done with the front surface. Now we want to do the hind surface. But for this one, you see here, because the surface is over here, in other words, our object, the new object now is this length. So you, can you see that this is the diameter of the uh, glass sphere, which is 40 centimeters. We knew this one because they already gave us the R, which is 20 centimeters, which is this one, remember? But because the R is 20 centimeters, the diameter now becomes 40 centimeters. And on top of that, we have to add in another 20 centimeters over here. So it means our U2, okay? So U2 now becomes 40 plus 20. So we got 60 centimeters. Now, is this object, is this object, Positive, is it virtual or real? So you see, when the second light rays hits uh, the, the hind surface, like that, okay, let's say like that, hitting the light surf, uh, the, sec the hind surface, even though the image is behind, which is out already from the, from the glass sphere, be, but the it is still on the same side as the the light ray is coming from. It is on still on the same direction, basically. Unlike in the first question, uh, where the image is formed um, over here, where the light ray, the real light ray is coming from here, it's already on the opposite side. So that's why our U becomes negative. Sorry, negative. But for this case. Even though the image or the object for the second surface is formed outside the glass, but because the light ray is still the same, the same direction, so we're still going to consider the U2 as positive, not negative. And when we construct the equation, we should get 1.5 over 60. Okay, why is it 1.5, you say? Because we are talking about the second surface which is the hind surface and the light rays coming from the glass towards the air okay so 1.5 over 60 plus 1 over v we're looking for that equals 1 minus 1.5 over negative or positive 20 korang so look at this one you can see here this is a kurus surface so we are hitting the light ray is hitting on the kurus hence the r should be negative so when you calculate, you should get the V equals to infinity. In other words, it shows that no image is formed. There you go. Bye.